This is the page that we made in the last video. The basic page that had split the page up using divs uh, with the information stored in the CSS file. Back in Dreamweaver, we're now going to add some extra style to this page. For example, let's take a look at the header and put what we actually want in our header. So I'm going to go to the background and I'm going to browse in the images folder for the banner that I had created previously. So I'll click OK. Now, I only want it to appear once, so I'm going to put no repeat, and I want it to appear in the center and middle of the header box. So if I click OK, you can see that the image is now there, and I don't need this content at the top, so I'm just going to delete that text. Uh, I now need to add uh, into my page a menu and the content section for the main part of the page. So I'm going to add a new div tag. And and I'm going to put it before the end of page. So it'll actually go in the middle of that page tag. Now I'm going to give it the name menu and choose new CSS style. So there it is menu, click OK. And now I can start to style uh, the menu section. So I'm going to go for uh, the same color as my header and I can now set the size of the box. Now I want a width this time of 150, sorry, 100, yeah, 150 uh, pixels and I'm going to go for a height of 490 so it sits inside the page padding 5 again and this is the key bit I'm going to float it to the left so it appears on the left side of the page I don't need a margin I just click OK uh, click OK again it saves the style and appears um, in our page now I'm going to do the same again this time for the content so this is going to go before the end of the page tag again and let's put content as its name click new CSS so we define the style for it and again let's go to the background I go for a slightly different color a little lighter color for the main uh, body and set the width to 725 and a height of 490 again. I'm going to add the padding of 5 pixels and click OK. Now that's saved the style and now OK to insert the div. And you can see actually what it's done is just appeared to the side. So I'm just going to edit in because I forgot to add uh, the key little bit from last time, if you remember from the menu, was the float. Now this one I want to float to the right. So it's at the right side of the page. And you can see that now that's positioned a little bit more nicely, uh, a nice border all around the side um, of my page. Right, the uh, last little bit of um, certification I'm going to do is change um, the body tag. So I go to there and I'm going to set the background colour for the body to grey. And this is just going to affect the outside of the page. You'll have seen it just around the edges here. Uh, it's turned grey and if I go and preview that in Safari let's save the page, save the style sheet that's how it was, let's hit refresh that's how it looks now you can see a nice grey board around the side let's just reduce it and you can see the effect of the, the auto margin on the page and you can see how our page is beginning to look <laughs>